Hi, this is Phil Shapiro. I'm holding in my hands my MacBook laptop. It's my main computer. Last week, I formatted the hard drive with Ubuntu Linux, and I did so deliberately. I did so on purpose. And I wanted to try out to see what it was like to live for several months with Ubuntu Linux as the main operating system I use. I use Linux at work, and so I'm quite comfortable with Linux. I find I'm more productive. Google Chrome on my laptop, it starts up in about two seconds, and it serves real fast. OpenOffice, the word processor I like to use, that boots in about five or six seconds. And I use OpenShot, the video editor, which is like iMovie HD from the old days, but it's more feature rich. The person who gave me the idea to put Ubuntu Linux on this laptop, it was suggested to me. The person who suggested it wrote this book over here called Walden. And the person's name is Henry David Thoreau. This is the book, Walden, written in 1854 and um, by Henry David Thoreau. And uh, in this book, he, he explains about his um, experiment to live simply. He went out to the woods, built a little shack, and, and confronted just the essentials of life. He wanted to see what it's, what are, what's truly necessary. So I'd like to read to you a passage from this book. It's so inspiring all these years later. I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life, and see if I could not learn what it had to teach, and not, when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. I did not wish to live what was not life. Living is so dear. Nor did I wish to practice resignation unless it was necessary. I wanted to live deep and suck out all of the marrow of life, to live so sturdily and spartan-like as to put to rout all that was not life, to cut a broad swath and shave close, to drive life into a corner, reduce it to its lowest terms, and if it proved to be mean, why then to get the whole and genuine meanness of it and publish its meanness to the world. Or if it were sublime, to know it by experience and be able to give a true account of it in my next excursion. This guy is a total blogger. He wants to experience life and then report about it. I love it. So I'd like to reread this passage as interpreted in the modern day, 2010, in my own particular little experiment. I formatted the laptop with Ubuntu Linux on my MacBook laptop because I wished to live deliberately to front only the essential facts of life and see if I could not learn what it had to teach and not, when I came to die, discovered that I had not lived. I did not wish to live what was not life. Living is so dear. Nor did I wish to practice resignation unless it was quite necessary. I wanted to live deep and suck out all of the marrow of I life to live so sturdily and Spartan-like as to put to rout all that was not life. So that's my little experiment. And um, one of the reasons I'm doing this experiment is that when you use Linux, it feels like you're part of something bigger than yourself. Linux is a free global operating system. And if people in other countries who are living without much money are able to see that somebody in America likes Ubuntu Linux or likes some of the other distributions of Linux, um, that creates a bond between people uh, across borders and that, that creates a more inclusive world. So um, part of this experiment is seeing what it's like to live uh, with, with Linux as my only operating system that I use. And uh, so far this experiment's gotten off great and I'll be reporting further about it right here on this blog.